back to Arc Tutorials. This is a brand new series that I'm starting on the channel. The series is called Testing Concept Series. A lot of times a lot of developers ask me what do they mean by alpha testing, beta testing, smoke testing, etc. etc. There are close to around 50 plus concepts that every developer, every tester, every QA, full stack developer, business analyst or everybody on an agile team should be aware of. This is my honest effort to help you learn all the testing concepts end to end. If you are a beginner learning about software testing, you will find this series extremely helpful because I will cover everything in detail with common use cases. Let's get started. Today is the part one of the series where I'm going to talk to you about the software testing introduction. So before, like I said, before I get started with the series, keep in mind that this series is for every developer, all developers, QA, full stack developer, business analyst, almost everybody in IT. This series will help you learn all the essential concepts that are required in software field. So do not assume or think that this is a testing series as a developer, I don't need it. As a developer, you need to support the QA. That means you should be aware of these terminologies and these concepts. All right, let's talk about the basic stuff first. What is software testing? Software testing is a process to evaluate the functionality of a software application with an intent to find whether the developed software meets the requirements or not. This, the software testing is performed to identify the defects to ensure that the product is defect free in order to produce quality product. Software testing is the process of evaluating a system for its components with an intent to find whether it satisfied a specified requirement or not. Software testing is executing a system in order to identify any gaps, errors or missing requirements in contrary to the actual requirements. So in an essence, if I have to give you in a simple terms, software testing is a process to make sure that our application does what the requirements have been specified. There are no defects and there are no gaps between the actual requirements versus the developed software. That is in general, what is software testing? Now, why do you want to learn software testing, right? Uh, obviously, there are a lot of career opportunities in IT industry, number one. Number two, you need to acquire the domain knowledge, right? When you work in software testing or as a automation engineer or as a full stack developer, you will require to understand the domain knowledge of that particular applic of applications domain or the particular industry's aspect of it. Let's say, for example, if you are building a uh, asset management platform in banking domain, you will get learn and acquire the entire fundamental process that goes behind building a asset management system, right? So that's a huge thing, right? So you, the best part is that you get to learn and acquire domain knowledge. Over a period of time, you would learn multiple domains and that's what will help you career grow. As a QA, if you are starting to learn manual QA, you might want to look at automation tools and frameworks. Now, this is really important for both developers and QA community equally. As a developer, you might want to learn some of the automation tools because you want to become a full stack developer. Or if you become a DevOps, you might want to fix some test cases which are failing in your pipeline. Some of the leading automation tools like Selenium, Cypress, and much, much more. When we talk about the testing at the unit level, we will talk about JUnit, we'll talk about Mocha, we'll talk about Jasmine, right? We talk about BDD frameworks like uh, Protractor, etc. Now, why software testing? Now, this is one of the things that people think, oh, why do we even need software testing, right? So this is for absolute beginners who are new into software testing. So one of the most important reason is the cost effective development. Now, if you spend some time early in testing the application, you will save a lot of time and effort and headache when it goes into actual life, right? So it's cost effective development, which means you catch the defects early in time rather than later in the stage. Product improvement. During the SDLC phases, testing is never a time consuming process. However, diagnosing and fixing the errors identified 
during proper testing is a time-consuming but productive activity. Test automation. Over a period of time, the product goes. The project goes into different different modules and the size increases, the code base increases. That's when test automation comes into handy. You don't have to sit and manually run the test cases. Using test automation, we can run the test whenever we want at a certain time of the day or multiple times a day with little to um, you know, no manual intervention. The main and important reason is the quality check. You check for the functionality, reliability, usability, efficiency, portability, maintainability through software testing. Now these are important because everybody should be aware of this as part of the software development life cycle. Now there are two more, two main important modes of testing. One is manual testing, one is automation testing. Okay. Now when we say manual testing, it means it requires manual effort that somebody has to sit and um, do all the running all the tests and then executing the steps etc automation testing will help us write so that we write our scripts which will run automatically and with little to no manual intervention you can run those scripts now a lot of times people get confused with types of testing right now like i said there are 50 plus uh, testing concepts in which around there are 30 plus types of testing I'm sure you have not heard that before there are 30 plus types of testing that you can do a lot of people think it's only um, just say smoke testing or say UAD testing and we're done so there are there can be around 30 plus types of testing that everybody should be aware and that is what is my effort in this particular series for you to learn and master them so, like I said, there are 50 plus testing terminologies and testing concepts that you should be knowing. I will cover each and everything in detail with common use cases. Stay along in this particular series. Please do subscribe to my channel so that you get notification when I publish the videos. The first thing that I will continue in the next episode, we'll talk about manual testing. We'll talk about the career options. We'll talk about how to grow um, and what to learn. What are the skill set required to get into manual testing? I hope that you will find this series helpful and useful in learning and growing your careers. Thank you so much for joining. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow this particular series. Thank you again. See you in the next episode.